Hello, and welcome back to Monsway Garage. In this episode, we're gonna tackle an issue that I've been dealing with for a little while. Before I started making these videos, right after we got the car, totally rebuilt the engine. We also tore apart the transmission. However, it was very new, very unsure of what I was doing. So I didn't, a little bit intimidated by the valve body. We just kind of slid it over to the side and let it do its own thing while we refreshed the rest of the transmission. Well, that's now come back to bite me in the butt. Because when I'm in drive, I always start off in third gear. So I have two different things that I can tackle to try to take care of these problems. The first is the valve body. We're gonna pull that out, clean it, slap it back in, and see how that treats us. If cleaning out the valve body does not solve our problem, then we're gonna have to go after it and clean out the governor. Car's up in the air. Let's get underneath this thing, and get it drained, and get this vile body out. All right, we are under the car. And since this transmission doesn't have a drain plug, we're gonna drain this just by dropping the pan. In order to do that, gotta get out a whole bunch of bolts, 14 to be exact. So what we'll do is we'll loosen them all up and we'll let this back end drop a little more than the rest. And that should dump the majority of our oil into our drain pan here. Those are quite loose. It would explain why it's leaking. Oh, the dripping begins. We're just gonna let that uh, run off for a few minutes. It's nice and pretty red. It is new fluid. We'll uh, we'll definitely take a look and see what's in the pan. Trapper. No, 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 no. Oh, that is what I was trying to not do. The one thing I really did want to look at though is this pan. I wanted to see what kind of stuff we had in there. For the most part, a little tiny bit of clutch material. It's like we got a few little metal flakes. But other than that, looks pretty good. What I was worried about was burning through a whole lot of clutch material and uh, maybe messing up my uh, clutch plates. But now that I know a lot of this is probably left over from the rebuild and me not touching the valve body, we may have to make a trip over to O'Reilly for a new gasket because that one looks about done. So we'll come back when this is all cleaned up and get a look at our valve body and our filter. So there we have it. There's the valve body. Filter looks decent, but since there's not enough room for the phone and the gimbal under here, we're gonna get a better look at it once I've got it taken out of the car. Oh, she's out. So let's go ahead and flip this over, dump all the stuffs. I'll tell you what though, it's, it's a decent color. That's nice. Let's go ahead and get this filter off. So as I pull all the different things off, I'm going to set them together and off comes the filter. We're gonna go ahead, sit the filter right here, sit our screws on the filter. Oh yeah, it's gonna be goopy in there. That's from our accumulator. This is what I get for not actually cleaning this thing out when I had the whole thing apart. We're gonna go get a cheat sheet. So what I'm doing is I'm looking in my uh, shop manual right now. Here we go. Now, you might have noticed that I'm quite a ways into the disassembly at this point. And you may be asking, why didn't you show the first part? Well, the answer is, I'm an idiot. I didn't have the camera pointed correctly, so that footage ended up on the cutting room floor. I'm going to speed up the rest because this took me a while. I was going back and forth between doing a step, going through the shop manual, doing the step, going through the shop manual, just to make sure that I get it right.
All right, it is all apart. It wasn't so terrifying as I thought it was gonna be. But right now my camera's getting hot. So I'm gonna take all of this stuff and clean it up with some brake cleaner. And then we're gonna get some assembly lube and we're gonna start putting it back together. So for the cleaning process, I'm gonna let the camera take a break. Hopefully by the time I'm ready to start putting it all back together, I can show you how it looks nice and clean. Then we can get it all slapped together and back in the car. Then it's time for a ride. Well, we're back and we're on the GoPro because phone battery died, gimbal battery died. So here we are. We are completely apart. We are in pieces. We've cleaned up our main plate. We've cleaned up this plate and we've cleaned up this plate. Now, I think some of our problems came from this one right here. That, you can see the goop in there. This entire channel right here was completely full of gunk. That goes to our regulator valve and torque converter control valve. There was also a couple of other passages, but they're just cavities. I don't know if they're used. It was here, here, and here. Uh, those were also just completely full of gunk. But this one I know for sure gets used. So we got that cleaned out. We're going to wipe down the rest of our stuff just with a uh, clean... Well, this one's not clean, but I will wipe it down with what will be a clean and dry shop towel. And then uh, we will get to slapping everything back together. As I am low on battery life all the way around, the phone is back in charging, I'm going to start putting this together. And we'll be back once it's together and we'll see how it goes. Well, there she is. Back together. Now, it's time to install it. All right, well, it's back together. Now we just gotta get it on the floor, get the transmission filled up, get it back out, and take her for a test run. I am distracted by a very large dragonfly that is just zooming around my garage. And the mosquitoes! <laughs> Ugh, hate mosquitoes. All right, well, we got her out, took her for a spin. I won't say no change, it's shifting a lot better. It's, it's shifting smoother. Uh, it's not ramping up as high in RPM. However, I, I'm still not getting downshifts the way I'm supposed to. So, time to pull the governor. Since I don't have a whole lot of room underneath, I'm gonna skip the part where I drain the pan, pull everything apart. Next time you see us, we'll actually have the government, uh, the government, <laughs> we'll have the government watching us. Next time you see us, we'll have the governor out and we'll be taking a look to see what's wrong with it. I may have been a little optimistic on how easy it was going to be to get the governor out with the transmission still in the car. So there's a makeshift repair to the torsion bar cross member. I pointed it out in a previous video, but it makes it so that we can't get the transmission cross member out. So, can't get the tail shaft cover off with it still in the car. That means it's got to come out. To get it out, we're going to have to pull the entire engine and transmission as one piece. So, that's what we're doing today, three weeks later. In preparation for pulling the engine and the transmission, we're going to go ahead and drain the transmission. Look, it's draining and it's not making a big old mess. I like it. Drain the coolant. So. We're draining the radiator. We kind of missed the bucket a little bit. Get everything disconnected. <laughs> I got it out. and it's okay and then we'll go ahead and pull it I'm gonna do most of that off camera just cuz boring but uh, yeah let's do this
So this is how it's going to have to work for right now. The uh, wonderful A-frame doesn't actually let us get the engine onto the cradle, which we built when we rebuilt the engine. And uh, so we're going to have to do things on the floor. It's going to make it a little more difficult to get the transmission off, uh, but either way, it's coming off so I can flip it over and work on it. Uh, but I think that is going to be a process for tomorrow because I'm tired. That was a pain. Man, even sitting out of the car, she looks pretty. I lied. I said we were done. We're not. We're going to get to this governor. We're going to get to this governor tonight. Because at a minimum, I would like to get the engine and everything back in the car tomorrow. Sweet. Disconnected. Oh yeah, should probably take the torque converter out before I make a mess because I didn't drain it. Just the cardboard. It's not my bones. Might be my bones. Alright. All loosened up. Ta-da! Speedo gear, which works fine, by the way. I've had no issues with it. All right, now that's done. We're all kind of loosened up here. Did we get them all? We got them all. And we do have a gasket on here, so it might take a little wiggle wiggle to get it off. But first things first, got to get this C-clap out. All right, that's done. Ah, oh, click back in on me. All right, cool. The gaskets broke loose. Off she goes. Oh, ah, more mess. Here's our governor. 
we're gonna get this bad boy out and see what in the hell is going on. That's uh, interesting. And I see why it is the way that it is. This seat clamp right here is not actually in the channel. Or is it? We have some issues. Our output shaft's got a lot of play. More than I think it should. One. Our bearing. Oh yeah. That is uh Absolutely not down in the channel. I'm gonna borrow you guys because uh, I want to get a good look at that. So here's the close up, and as much as it feels nice and solid, you can see the clip is definitely not sitting down in the groove. We're gonna pull that off. Um, we're gonna take that clip to some sandpaper and see if we can't get her a little bit slimmer get that thing to clamp right on down. All right, so we ended up doing, you see all this nice bright shiny here? We ended up taking and sanding down a couple of thousands off the end of the housing here. So now our clip is sitting down in like it's supposed to. Now we're just gonna put it back together. Well, there we have it back together, mostly. Got to torque down the bell housing bolts. Got to finish connecting the torque converter and the flex plate. And then need to put our dirt shield back on. And then this will be ready to go back in there. Well, one long weekend putting the engine and the transmission back in the car. One long business trip that ran way longer than expected. And a car show. We've proven that the government, the government, it's still the government. The government is our problem. We've proven that the governor was our problem because the transmission's working good now. Ish. The two, three shift is kind of hard. Probably need to play with our kick down a little bit. Just, we'll see. Next up, I don't know. I was originally planning on doing the floor pans and the torsion bar cross member. Some of the other things that I've got in mind, front suspension, uh, at least all the bushings and stuff. What I really want to do is hot this QA1, but yeah, money, money. Uh, rear suspension, we need some new leaf springs because yeah, we need some new leaf springs. So let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see. So if you've got questions, let me know down in the comments. Some of you have left questions and I answer as best I can. But keep in mind, not a professional. First time doing this, working my way through it as I go. That's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye. So I have been standing here talking to a camera that's not recording. I'm an idiot.